Hi guys, how are you all? It's Abir Rumi from Princess Nuri University. In this video, I'm gonna teach you one part in chapter 4, which is domination. After watching this video, you will be able to know what does domination mean, types of domination, and the difference between excessive domination and immediate domination. Do you know what does domination mean? Domination basically means that you contain something else. I'm gonna explain this with this tree. A here is a higher up. A is a root node, so A contains everything under it. A contains or A dominates B, C, and everything under them as well. So I can say A dominates D, A dominates L, A dominates J as well. Now B, what does B dominate? B dominates D, E, and F. What about C? C dominates everything under it. Let me ask you, what about C and K? Does C dominate K from this point going downward and get hitch and everything under it? Uh, under it. So C uh, dominates K, C dominates L as well. What about B and I? Does B dominates I? We will go up to A, then we'll go down, downward to the C, then I. So this relation will be C command. So B doesn't dominate I. What about F and, a? F and A? Does F dominate A? No. Do you know why? Because in domination, we only can, can go down. We can't not go up or to the left or to the right. So here, from F, we'll go up to the B. Then we'll go to the A. So F doesn't uh, dominate A, but A dominates F. Okay, let's answer these questions. Does A dominate B? Does A dominate Yes, it's very simple. Because B uh, under A. What about the second question? Does E dominate A? Here is E. Does E dominate A? As I told you before, uh, we only can go down. We cannot go up. So E doesn't dominate A. What about the last one? Does A dominate L? Where is... Yes. Here is L and here is A. Does A dominate L? Yes, because we will go downward to C, then H, then everything and rich. So A dominates L. This is the idea of general domination. Now, let's talk about another type of domination that is excessive domination. It's easy type. Uh, but before I start with excessive domination, you have to know about these terms, set and terminal. What does set mean? K here is a set. B and C are also a set. But what about terminal? Terminal node is a node that dominates nothing, no branch under it. So, C here. C here contains H and I, so uh, it's non-terminal, but K dominates nothing, nothing under it. So K is a terminal node. E and F are also terminal node. So let's start. Excessive dominates, it, it has to be a set and terminal or set for terminal. So here, A dominates E, uh, the, no sorry, A excessively dominates E and F. Also, A uh, exhaustively dominates K, but we can't say, we can't say A exhaustively dominates H and I, because here H uh, have a branch, have something uh, under it, so it's not terminal. In an exhaustive, exhaustive domination, it have to be terminal. So this is the this is the idea behind excessive domination. So let's go to. Here is the second type of domination and the last part, which is immediate domination. In general domination, we said that the A dominates everything below it, or A contains everything under it. But with immediate domination, A only immediately dominates B and C. So you can immediately dominate something if and only if no other no node intervenes. So, for example, A doesn't immediately dominate D because B, because B is standing between them, between D 
in A. So here is the question. What does C immediately dominate? That's where is C immediately dominates G, H, and I. So why doesn't C immediately dominate G and K? Uh, that's because G, H, and I uh, are intervenes. They plug immediately dominates. This is the immediately dominate, domination. Hope you understand this. And last thing, thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this with me. And guys, if you have any question with this chapter, just ask me in this account and I will be help you inshallah.